The camera's on. The camera's on right now. Is it? It's on me. Oh, it's Is it me. recording? Yes, yeah, recording. Freaking record me. What the? You live. You got. He just took out a sign right here. All right. Yo. Oh, oh, oh. What's going on, guys? Welcome to another video. So, uh, I hope you guys are doing good because I'm doing great, and us. Really hope you guys are doing good too. So, um, what I'm doing right now is I got a busy, busy li little mini day, uh, little mini day that I have to get done because I have a lot of stuff to do. So I really have to go to Best Buy. Gosh, I gotta get gas too. And I gotta go to the vitamin shop. I gotta get some proton bars. Because if you guys didn't know, today is the day, guys. Today is the day that I am gonna be hiking up to Minnesota. That's gonna be rough, but today, luckily we're only driving six hours, so only six hours. That's not bad at all. You know, I can deal with that. Six hours ain't that bad. But well, that's what we're going to be doing. That's what we're gonna be doing. That's what we're gonna be doing. That's what we're going to be doing, guys. Oh. Well, we're going to Best Buy right now. And I'm gonna go get some stuff because I have a lot of stuff to get. And I know I just went to Best Buy like at the other vlog, like literally a vlog like a, like a feed, like, few days ago, but I got to get more stuff and I want to be prepared because when I'm in Minnesota, who knows what's in Minnesota? I don't know who, what's around in Minnesota. I don't know if there's going to be a Walmart in Minnesota. Or I don't know if there's going to be a Best Buy or a, you know what I mean? I, I just don't know, but I want to come prepared and I'm going to be spending a lot of money on the stuff but it doesn't really matter because I want to get the best footage ever so you guys will enjoy it. So guys, as y'all know, this trip ain't no lie. Like this trip is a long trip. This is a really long trip, all right? So I had stuff by, I got my favorite blueberry um cobbler protein bars i got two boxes of those i also got some of the banging energy drinks the bangers yep. bang these are actually cotton candy i'm taking a risk here guys I, i've only tried the power punch all right only tried the power punch but they didn't have any and i wanted to get a big one because i'm gonna be going out of town for a while i got the cotton candy we're gonna hope that i like it we're gonna hope that it tastes good the lady said it tastes good so i'm gonna take your take your choice i'm gonna make it happen all right well, i don't even know what i'm saying so guys guess what i got nothing bro i went in there and i was wanting a few things you know i was wanting to get stuff for my gopro like the house they only sell hero 5 stuff there because hero 5 is too good you know they're too good for the hero 4 they don't sell any stuff for the hero 4 and that's why Sorry about that. So the Hero 4, what I use, uh, I have a Hero 5 too, but I use the Hero 4 just because I like it a lot better. And I have a lot of batteries for the Hero 4. You know, anything for the Hero 4. So I need to buy another hard drive for my computer because I want to have a backup just in case something happens. This guy's watching me vlogging and he's sitting here smiling at me. I'm smiling at your back, bro. What's up, man? Anyways, the whole hard drive thing, I needed a new hard drive because I wanted to have a backup just in case something happens, but I do have a few, so I might could clear some stuff on the hard drives, but I just like to keep everything that I film. Now I do, like the past like, you know, eight months, I've kept everything that I film. But uh, they didn't have that either, and then I wanted to buy a cord, they didn't have that either, and then I was gonna buy a card, another card, and then they didn't have that one either, so. Best Buy, you suck, man. So uh, I guess I'm going back, and uh, I'm gonna pick up my boat, and then I might go take it on the water to make sure it works, and uh, we should be good. The camera's on. The camera's on right now. Is it? It's on me. Oh, it's Is it me. recording? Yes, yeah, recording. Freaking record me. What? Well, guys, I about just killed someone right now. He's a freaking idiot, and I'm going to turn around and tell him that he's a freaking idiot. What the? You live. You got. He just took out a sign right here. Where's he at? Look, his whole tires are gone. You see his tire pieces? That's all his tire pieces on the ground what did right he here. Do? He hit that sign right there. I know. I saw him go off the road, but what happened? Look at the sign. Look. Film. Where is he at? He's up here. He's an idiot. Slow down. I ain't slowing down. I'm gonna catch his ass. I thought he went off the road. He did go off the road. He knocked over the sign. And he's up here somewhere. I don't know where he's at. He almost got himself killed though. What he's happened? Killed. There he is. He's up there. Where? Where? Stop. Keep oh, he's going. up there? Yeah, he's up here. He's going to have to pull over. I don't, I don't get why he's not pulling over. I'm going to yell at him. He almost freaking killed himself. I could have ran him over. Look, he's going to go pull over here to the gas station. Look at his taillight. He ripped his whole back bumper off. What are you going to say to him? These people need to hurry up. That's all I know. I'm going to tell him he's an idiot. I'm going to cuss him out because I could have killed him. Literally, I could have killed him. And I'm not, I'm not going <laughs> to, I'm going to literally cuss him out. I'm going to tell him he's a complete idiot. He almost killed us. He wouldn't have killed us, I would have ran him over. See, that's that's the thing. If I was in a little car, I wouldn't really care, all right? That's his problem. But I, if he would have went in my lane and came towards me like he did, that person just flashed the lights on. If he would have came at me like he did, I mean, he would 
I mean, I would have killed him. I would have ran him over. There's no doubt in my mind. I would have ran that guy over. He was There's no way he's just not going to pull over. Look at the whole back bumper dragging it's on the It's a ground. little bitty tiny BMW convertible, which I'm surprised that is still drivable. He knows I'm following him. Look, his whole tail light's busted out. He knows he screwed up. There he goes. You want me to record it? It's an older guy, too. You want me to get out of the car? Yes, I want you to get out of the car and record me. You need to be careful. You know you almost hit us, right? All right, yep. I'm what What happened? Oh, it just, something ran out in front of me, and I was just, it, it, I lost it. Did something run out in front yeah. of you? Yeah. Oh, my Holy God. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Well, I'm shaking. I know you're in shock, too. It was as full, and it You just lost control. Yeah. All right. Dang. Well, no way you were nice. His car, his car, yeah, it was nice because I didn't, he was already in shock. I mean, I was thinking about just cussing him out, but he works at a car dealership. What car dealership do you work at? I don't know. I saw it's like a little tag, but I try not to get it too much on the phone, so. <laughs> you knew you were recording too, that's hilarious. Look at him, he's scrubbing the curb, look, look. Film this, why are you filming this? You need to learn how to Oh my it. God, look at the front of his car's all hanging off. <laughs> Film him. He needs to pull over and get out and look at his freaking car. Well, he, he's got to understand. Look at the front of his car. Just film it. What is it on the front of his car? That's his whole... His shit's about to blow up. Because it smells like it's about to blow up. You don't need to be driving it anymore. Why didn't he get out and even look at his car to see what was wrong with it? Because he's crazy. Oh my that, god. So explain just what... Explain what happened. Because we might need to explain this over. I don't know. Alright. So, are you recording? Yes. It's been recording I have to question whole, you now. It's been I, recording this whole right. time for like the past five minutes. So, I was driving down this street. And all of a sudden, I see this BMW. He's going... I don't care what he says. He's dodging a squirrel. There's no way that man was dodging a squirrel. Because he was going... I'm not even kidding. He was hitting 100. Well, look where you're aiming the camera. You're aiming at my hair. Alright. So he, he was, I mean, he was going a solid 90, 100 miles an hour. There's no doubt in my mind. That guy's a complete idiot. I'm like shaking right now. But he was going, swerving all over the place. He was trying to stop. His tires are peeling off. All right, that car, I'm, I'm That car surprised. is destroyed. The car's destroyed. I'm surprised he didn't totally, all right? So literally, he's swerving everywhere. His tires are ripping off as he's swerving. So I kind of slowed down. And I kind of get over the car in front of me. I don't even remember what that car was doing. But he's going back and forth, back and back, but he goes right past me and just starts to drift sideways and just smacks this road sign and cuts it right in half. And the thing is, he's lucky because in a car that small, if he would have hit that road sign, I'm telling you head on, or if he would have hit it like to the side, it probably would have went right through his car and sliced him in half. I mean, that, that just... That was a little tiny convertible car. That was a tiny convertible, like no joke. That's... BMW and like it's that trash. car right there, like... I just cannot believe that just happened. But that guy was clearly reckless driving. It wasn't just, all right, maybe a squirrel ran out in front of him. But I, I didn't see one thing run out in front of him. I just saw him hit that corner at about 100 miles an hour and try to drift or something, and he lost control just being an idiot. So all I know is I could have killed that guy. And I should have honestly yelled at him, but I know he's already freaking out too. I'm freaking out too, so I didn't want to make him freak out even more. But when I walked to his car, all he smelled was like, burnt, like it was bad. I don't know if it was actually his engine or it was his tires, but I mean, it smelled pretty Did bad. you see liquid all over the place? It was like water or something all over, all over him and all over the... Yeah, there was water all in his car. His whole uh, center, console? center console actually was cracked. Um, like seriously, like he, he screwed up bad. I, I thought he was gonna be off the road somewhere. I didn't know he was still driving that car. Yeah. I, when I heard the squealing the, the of the tires. The craziest part of it all is, is he just got back on the road and drove like it was no problem. And then he pulled over where I pulled over and talked to him. 
and Didn't he even... sat in the car, never got out of his car. He was like freaking out in his car. His whole center console in his car was cracked. He knew crap was everywhere. He knew his car was about to blow up. And then he decides to pull off. And when he decides to pull off, he runs a little BMW. All right, man, you don't have a truck like mine. You don't have no big truck. He decides to run it right up on the curb. And I'm like, all right, you might as well, yeah, you might as well top it off with a little bit of ice and you might as well destroy it a little bit more. But come on now, that is just crazy. That guy could have killed himself. I'm just be I'm just I'm just making this little scene right here and saying everything because his car would have went under your just, truck. Yeah, I just if he want would have hit us head on, he would have went under the truck. I just want you guys to be careful because like me driving a big truck, that means a lot to me because of course me driving a big truck, I got to drive safe because I could run over anyone. I got I can run over 98% of the cars on the road right now. Even if it's a little SUV, like it, it'd, be, it'd be done. Like I have a big bumper how on my tall, car. How tall is this truck? I got a six inch lift on 37s and those 37s push it up even more. Right. But that car would have went all the way under my car and he would have been dead. It, no doubt in my mind he would have been dead. And that, like I tried to get out of the way as best as I could. I just want to make this little clip just to tell you guys, please be safe when you're driving. You know, you never know what's going to happen and just don't be an idiot. Like that. I don't care if he, he was dodging a squirrel. If he was dodging a squirrel, he's dodging a squirrel. But he was going, I'm telling you, around 100 miles an hour. And yeah. that's why he lost control. I think, yeah. That, I think he so. tried to take that. This is what happened. He was going fast as crap. I've seen people fly on that road. Your dad that, does it in my car. The corner right there is no joke because I have to slow down in my truck even when I'm going a decent mile an hour because my truck leans. is really tall. But that corner is steep, all right? So when he was beaming, who knows? He might have never been on that beggar before. He was beaming, and when he came to a corner, kind of like this corner right here, I mean, he never stopped. He never stopped. He just kept going, and right when he turned, I mean, that's when he started losing control. I don't believe it was a squirrel. I, I don't believe that guy. I don't believe it. A bit, especially since he just didn't get out of his car and even check his car. I believe he lost control of the car because he was driving too fast. Now we're at Perry's after a crazy event that just happened in the vlog, which I, uh, I'm just glad the guy's okay. You know, I mean, his car's not okay, but his car could have got eaten by my car, so that's even better. So I'm um, just glad, glad the guy's all right. Dripping and everything, rubber going over, he comes and drifts right past me and hits this damn road sign, cuts it in half. Dude, I mean, he cool. pulled like, us. He had a pull over. Dude, isn't a joke. I followed him back. I was going to go tell he him how big of a So I wanted to go follow him and tell him how big of a dumbass he is. And so I followed him back so after he wrecked. After he wrecked, kept going for like two, three miles. All right, guys. So. I'm out on the lake right now, and we're gonna go fishing. Welcome to another video. Oh, no, we're not gonna go fishing. We're actually just putting the boat in right now. I'm gonna check and make sure everything's all right, because I did put a new prop on this bad boy. There you go. She did a pretty good job. She did better than I thought. Oh, I feel that. Oh, that's, it feels good. I feel like gripping. It feels good. New prop on. So, we're gonna test this out. Probably about two pounds, but he's tugging hard. Oh my worm! Look how fat this guy is. Ooh, he's a fatty. Look how fat he is. Look how fat. Look. On the drop shot, my worm's slowly sinking. Pretty fish. Look how beautiful. That Your fish. worm came up. You can't. You don't know how. Look how beautiful that fish is. Ew. <laughs> All right, we're gonna catch some more. So we are off the water. Hopping back in right now. I need to go grab a bite to eat, all right? It's 3.30, I haven't even put one thing in my mouth today. I'm so hungry, all I've had is a monster. I'm gonna go grab a bite to eat, and then I'll catch you guys after. Every time I go on a trip, I'm always checking my ear and my tire. Very important, I'm telling you, you guys that travel all the time, please do this, like, just for safety and everything, because I, I, when I wasn't vlogging as much, 
there's actually damage inside here, but I've popped the tire, and I mean, bad, like, no joke. Not only can it injure you, it could injure other people on the road. You just need to, you just need to be careful. Keep an eye on it. That one might need a little bit. So, guys, just got everything on the boat. Now I'm going back down this road where the guy almost messed up. All right. Flashback. If you guys remember, you know, remember the guy that, like, almost killed himself? Yeah, that's, that's the guy I'm talking about right now. So, this guy was hauling butt down this road. You see me up the corner right there? So, he's hauling butt. All right, he's going, he's going, he's going, he's going, he's going. Fast. He's going I'm looking real for fast. that mark. He's right freaking here. out right here. He's freaking hauling it. He's like, all right, it's good. That's not a steep edge right here. He just keeps going. He just keeps going. He just keeps going. He just keeps going. All right, he's still clear. He's still clear. All right, here's a little turn right here. And then this is about when he almost hit that squirrel, supposedly. All right, and this there's a piece of his tire up. right there's there. There's pieces of tire everywhere. And there's the broken sign down there. Well, we're going to go see that broken sign here in a minute. Got the cover on the boat. Got everything on the boat. The boat's all good. We got this little light on the boat. That is like the best thing. Ever. That was the weirdest sound I've ever heard. That was like a text and an email going off at the same time. As you guys can tell. All right, we're going, we're going. There's his tire. Is that him? Oh no, is that him? No, it's another BMW. That's his piece of his tire, all right? We're gonna walk down here. There's tire everywhere. This is where like I pulled off to the side right here because I was like about to almost kill this dude. All right, so I pulled over like right here kinda. There's more pieces of tire everywhere. You can tell where the guy actually skidded through the yard so you can tell how small this car is right here like that is just a little tiny bmw convertible all right you can see the markings i mean he was riding this hill right here i'm gonna walk way off the road because i don't want to get hit all right there's tire marks everywhere not tire marks there's tires pieces of tire everywhere right here and i cannot believe this house hasn't done anything about it so here's where he absolutely just know that he had to make love to this his whole tire's gone on. You know how the guy was still driving. Here's his uh, back tail light. So yeah, it's uh, nice. This is where he really screwed up and made love to the sign. You understand how hard look pieces of his tail light everywhere. This is where the guy just really screwed up and he just knew that it wasn't his day. I'm only making this video. I'm only showing you, showing you guys this because I just want you guys to be safe, you know? So that's just, I just want, seriously, just, I, I know, I know I'm joking around the video a lot and everything, but serious, serious talk right here. So I just want you guys to be safe on the road, you know, be careful. You never know what's going to happen. Just drive safe, especially if he would have hit me, like I would not have been, I'm telling you, he would have been dead. I'm, I'm not kidding. And that's scary, not only for me to think about, that's scary to think about that that guy like died hitting me, like. Because he would have, like, he could have killed himself, yeah, by hitting all those signs the wrong way, and everything could have gone wrong, but, I mean, I literally could have killed the guy, like, that's just, that's just stupid and crazy. Yeah, his whole tail light's laying there. Like, his whole pieces of his tail light are there, his whole frame of his tail light's there, and the whole sign, like, broke, like, at the bottom, and his tire is everywhere. I, I, everywhere. I don't even know how he was driving. No, like, one of them was, like, broken head. Like broken half. I don't even know how he was driving. I'm in a rush, alright? I'm in a rush. I'm about to leave the house. I'm about to go on a 24, 24 hour adventure. Start off with this one. Three of them. So we got three. Three Inspire spinning reels, alright? It's from Kong, by the way. I have no idea what this is. Wow, so I got a lot of Kong stickers. With the Kong stickers, I got a $25 off. Coupon code, all right. You want to use, you want to use the code. You want to go buy you a con cooler. If you want to go buy a con cooler, use Bass TV. All right, that's the code Bass B A S S T V. So that's that's for twenty five dollars off on con cooler. We got three drop shot rods. All right, three drop shot rods, and those are TCS series at Kumas. If you guys are wondering what those are, three drop shot rods, three spinning reels. So that's from a drop shot. It's from a my other base, my dude, spin, whatever else I'm gonna throw. So, uh, yeah, that's it. So, that was Tom Coolers. Thank you guys so much for sending me some decals, some 25 dollars off gift cards for my people. And also, Akuma, thank you guys so much for sending me some riding bills for Nationals. Now we're gonna hop on the road. Alright, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. But if you guys enjoyed this video, what are you doing, man? You better hit the like button, hit it right now, man. You better subscribe already, too. 
you need to subscribe, hit the bell, you need to comment below something about the video. Overall, thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope that dude was alright that like went crazy, but I'm pretty sure he was on some drugs or he was drunk or he's was, there's was something something was off. You know, there's no way the guy just saw a squirrel. He might have saw a squirrel in his mind, but I, I don't know. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, like the video, comment below, and subscribe if you haven't already. But I'll catch you guys in the next video. Honestly, I think that 24-7 an understatement to my day-to-day. -day. Day -day. If ain't no way, then I'ma make a way. Yeah. Nails say I say it ain't no way. I ain't never listened, kept them at a distance. This is for the ones who ain't afraid. And this is more than some paper chase. I wonder who else can say the same. Never worry about what they attain. If I'm living, then I really can't complain. Can't contain who you really are. I know my true colors like the same.